It's an instantly recognisable design. Three sides for the three times we've hosted the Olympics. 8,000 holes, one for every person to carry it. And it's an engineering nightmare to try and make. It was a, it was certainly, well, certainly challenging moments during the, during the process, but uh, I say when, when you have a, a very a, a close team working with Premier, uh, Premier Group, we, uh, we, we always knew we were going to achieve it, and through a lot of hard efforts and some sleepless nights, we got there in the end. It was right to the wire, to be truthful. Yeah, we were still working seven days a week, all the way up to as the run were going around the country. So yes, it was a very, very tight schedule. And now it's all over. Coventry-based Premier Group have presented one of the final torches to the University of Warwick because the two work together on the project, creating innovative new ways to shape, cut and weld aluminium to manufacture 11,700 torches. Every aspect of this torch is a triumph of Midlands engineering, from the shape to the holes that are cut in it. But I think the pinnacle is the weld on the back. And right up close, I can't see it. It's completely invisible. It's an amazing achievement. Now we can reveal how they did it. Innovative use of lasers to cut the holes and to weld the torch together. So looking back, could anyone else have done this? I don't think so, no. I think we're the best at what we do. The way we apply technology and the skills we have to apply it. This sort of collaboration between Midlands engineering firms and the university's manufacturing group is not just vital though for making torches. The torch was as complex a job as any automotive component would be and so taking that learning from the torch back into the automotive industry is definitely uh, something that will happen. Already the laser used on the Olympic torch is working seven days a week making innovative new prototype parts for cars of the future. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today at the University of Warwick.